Hello everybody! Happy Wednesday! Today we're going to be doing a look and in the center of this look is the dark black liquid lipstick by Fenty Beauty and it's called Uninvited. Awesome! I loved it! I loved playing around with this look. I loved putting on the lipstick and it's perfect for the fall, for Halloween, for this month and just be bold, be daring and if you want to see how this look was created, keep on watching! Today I'm wearing Olive to celebrate the fall. Today's look is going to be around... <laughs> I was on a trip this past weekend and in my travel bag I was carrying the Tatcha spray. So it spilled and it got all over all of my makeup stuff. So today I'm just going to be wiping everything down as I use them. One of my favorite things of all time is collecting travel sized makeup stuff. I just love travel sized stuff because I travel on the go all the time. Ooh, I'm dropping everything because I'm always on the go. And it's a great, I, I get, I'm ADD, so I get bored very easily. And it's a great way for me to use it up all the way. I don't know about you guys, but there's many times when I've got a makeup item that I bought full price and I never go through it. I never go through the whole thing because I get tired of it or I buy something else and I start using that other item. But it looks good. It looks cool and it's very luxurious to have a full sized item. But you know what? I just, I don't care. I always, anytime I see a little tiny travel size stuff, I'm so excited to buy that. One of my favorite guilty pleasures is I save up all my points from Sephora and I always get the little travel size whatever things they have at the counter and that way I can travel with it. That way if I get bored, if I use part of it and I throw it away, I don't feel as guilty and I can just buy new things. If I really love an item, then I'll buy it full size, like foundations, um, eyeliners, things like that, things that aren't very bulky. But even with foundation, because I travel so often, I like to use stick foundations and those are just super awesome. They just easy to maneuver, easy to carry around, easy to use. But anyway, let's get started on this makeup look. I'm going to be using this primer right here, which is the YSL Touche Eclat. This would be something that I'd buy full size. I'm going to take my Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer and what I do is I have a bit more pores on the cheek area and I tend to crease a little bit more right here and on my little crow split up here so I put more primer I just stack it on on those areas. I am going in with my Hourglass Stick Foundation. This is in the color Vanish Warm Ivory. I'm going to take the Morphe blender right here and let's just blend out the foundation. Make sure you press the foundation to the face and you're not dragging it across the skin. This way you have a flawless finish with the foundation. And get the eyes as well. Remember to get a nice layer on the eyes and your neck. Let's go in with one more layer. You can do only one layer if you want, but this is a more glammed out look, very dark, so I'm gonna do one more layer. Let's follow that with concealer. We're going to use the Becca Aqua Luminous Perfecting Concealer, and this is in the color Light. I do not really like using concealer. The reason for that is because I have dry skin, and whenever I use too much layers, too much product, it starts to crease underneath my eyes, and anywhere where my skin is creasing. So I either have to powder very well or I have to put very light thin layers of concealer and foundation in areas of my skin where it will usually crease. We're going to take the sponge and go over the concealer just to blend that so that it's seamless into the foundation. Just press it in there, press it so it combines with the foundation underneath. I have dry lips as well, so I always have to wipe off the foundation or any product that is on my lips. And then I apply a colored lip balm and that keeps my lips nice and nourished until I apply lipstick later. Take the Wet n Wild Mega Cushion Color Corrector for dark circles and I'm starting to really like this product. 
This is the Laura Mercier translucent loose setting powder. I'm going to use the Morphe sponge to pick up some of this on the flat edge and run this underneath my eyes. To keep the foundation and the concealer from creasing beneath my eyes, this is a crucial step. Now I'm going to take a brush. I'm going to wipe off some of the excess on the bottom and I'm going to leave a little bit more on because we're going to be working with dark shadows today in case there is full out. I'm working in the Jaclyn Hill palette again today. I take a blending brush and I just wipe that right into the crease and a little bit down generously into the lid. Don't really worry about where the color is going. This is just a nice transition color. Let's take Diva. This is a nice, beautiful olive green color. I'm going to just use my finger to dip into the color. I'm going to apply this color all over my lid. Next, I'm going to dip into Enchanted. This is a dark matte green color. The circular motions, I'm applying this to the outer edge of the eye. You want to make sure you connect this color with the lid color that you just applied. I'm going to use the brush that I used to apply the all over color and use that to blend out the harsh edges of this color. Cool, let's follow that with Pooter. I'm using brown as a blending color because my skin is tan, so using this color will seamlessly blend the green into my skin. Working with a dark look is all about blending and making the edges look seamless. So we're going into the Yes Please Color Pop palette. To make this look pop, I'm going to take Butter Cake and we're going to apply that right on top of the green lid color. Dip into Note to Self and this is going to go right underneath the eye. Then take Chauffeur, this is going to go in the middle of the under eyes. Finally, to make that fiery look, you're going to take G and O. That's going to go on the outside of the under eyes. Now take your powder brush and just wipe off any of the dirty fallouts. Now let's dip into Butter Cake once more. I'm going to take the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in the color Opal and apply that underneath the eyebrows to make that part pop. Let's do eyebrows. I always keep hairspray on my makeup shelf. I'm going to spray the spoolie and use this to brush the eyebrow hairs up. I didn't record this, but I'm taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip brow pomade in the color chocolate. First I create the outline for the eyebrow, then I fill it in with the leftover product on the brush. Finally take a spoolie and blend out the colors. What I love using for my eyebrows is the MAC Shape and Shade Brow Tint and this is in the color Lingering. It's got a nice little brush on the edge. I use this to fake microblade brushes into the front of my eyebrow. I also use this to blend out the rest of the eyebrows. Finally, one last spray of the hairspray into the spoolie. I'm going to use this to just blend out all of the colors and make sure that my brows are sticking straight up. Yay! Brows are done! I just bought this new eyeliner. It's from Fenty Beauty. Yeah, this is a very, very slippery eyeliner, so I messed up there. I'm trying to fix it. Ugh. Yeah. Yeah. Let's take a wipe and try it. Oh. Yeah. I don't know if I like this very much. We'll keep working with it. Hmm. For lashes, I'm using Ardell's Faux Mink line, and this is in the style 812. I'm using my favorite glue, which is the House of Lashes Eyelash Adhesive. For mascara, I'm using Maybelline's Lash Sensational, and this is my all-time favorite drugstore mascara. This is a new eye cream that I'm trying out from Shu Uemura. It doesn't have a spray, so it's a bit stiff to maneuver. Because I used brown for the under eyes, I'm using brown as well to line, so it doesn't look too harsh. I'm going with Sephora's gel eyeliner in the color Deep Black. I follow that with a Fenty eyeliner and I'm using this to go in between the lashes and the fake eyelashes to blend all of that together. To contour the nose, I'm going to go in with Benefit's Hoola Bronzer. To blend the bronzer into my skin, I'm using this sponge to just press everything together. I'm going to apply the same mascara on the lower lashes. Then I take my trusty eyelash curler. Following that, I'm going in with L'Oreal's Telescopic Mascara in the color Blackest Black. Ooh, my husband just got home. <laughs> for blush, I'm using Benefit's Gold Rush. It's a coral blush with a bit of sparkle. So I'm filming in the bedroom today and he's just sneaking to the bathroom. Yep, and now he's leaving. <laughs> for highlighter, I'm to take the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in the color Opal. Finally, for the star of the show, we're going in with Fenty Beauty's Black Liquid Lipstick in the color Uninvited. I'm terrified to be applying this because if I mess up, I'm messing up big. For liquid lipsticks, I just take my time, I go slow, but I make sure to not add too many layers. The trick with liquid lipstick is to keep the color thin. And because this color is black, it's gonna get on your teeth. To apply with more precision, I'm gonna go in with the brush. I realized too late that the camera didn't record me applying bronzer, but I did go in with Benefit's Hula Bronzer. We're gonna take Morphe's Continuous Setting Spray and lock everything in place. Woo! We are done! Yay! This is the finished 
look. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Right in the center is that dark lipstick from Fenty Beauty Uninvited. I loved it so much. This is something different. I haven't tried this before. It's perfect for this October, Halloween. Get a vampy look going, something bold and daring. Go ahead and try it out. And if you guys want to see more videos, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell button to get notifications for new videos. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!